A sci-fi future where computers take over the world is simply not going to happen. And Sandra Ziles, a computer science professor at the University of Virginia, can tell you why. Her research takes a theoretical approach to analyze machine learning. So I study a lot the limitations of computers, what can computers can do and what they cannot do, no matter how fast they get or no matter how much memory they have. Some tasks are much easier for a computer than a human to perform, but she says solving other problems that are very simple for humans are nearly impossible to teach computers. For example, a puzzle of predicting numbers in a sequence. So you apply totally different、um, rules of thought here to predict what would be the next、uh, number. You know, there's you know, you use some arithmetic or knowledge about prime numbers, or just something that you would find natural. And、um, now, if you can do that, can a computer do that too? That's a, a very interesting question. There is no learning algorithm that can predict any such sequence. In her work, using math, logic, and computability theory, she sees artificial intelligence as a way to create help for humans, rather than to teach computers everything that the human mind can do. Can I, I study problems in a more abstract, formal way, and I try to figure out. Are they solvable with computers at all? Such types of learning problems, and if so, can we solve them efficiently with the given resources that we have? Very often, there's not enough data available to learn classifiers. And what I'm concerned, what my research is、uh, concerned with, is how can we、uh, show that certain types of algorithms would allow us to learn meaningful patterns from only very little data, for instance. Some common applications for machine learning include classifying spam emails and credit card fraud detection. In both situations, computers depend on finding patterns in large amounts of data. These machine learning algorithms might work very well if you've got tons of data, but they might just not work very well if your data is limited. Generating training data in large amounts can strain budgets of time and money. So her search for more efficient learning algorithms could someday have a very practical application to help people.